Zap, 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 lightning, zap, zap, lightning, lightning, fader. Hello, it's me, the Lego Dude, and in today's video, I'll be talking about Lego Star Wars sets that I predict will be coming out in summer 2022. Before we go any farther, though, I want to give a shout out to one of my subscribers, TMB Productions, because he has a Lego channel where he makes quality content, and he really wants to hit 100 subscribers, so it would be nice if you could subscribe to his channel. Also, one more thing, all the set prices and numbers have already been revealed, so I'm basing my predictions off of those. The first thing I have to say about the predictions is I think there's going to be a few Attack of the Clone sets in this wave. I think this because at the beginning of the year, they're going to release the Clone Troopers accessory pack with three Attack of the Clones, Clone Troopers, plus some other stuff in it. And how can it be an accessory pack if there's nothing for it to be an accessory to? Which is why I think they're going to release Attack of the Clone sets to coincide with it in the summer. Also, I'm going to talk about some of my other set predictions before I get into the Attack of the Clone set prediction. So everything's not in order. The first set, 75323, will cost $160, and I predict it'll be a Hoth Webble base, like Echo base, but a lot more downscaled. I think it'll be a Hoth Webble set because they've already released enough Hoth Imperial things, and I'm assuming they'd want enough Hoth Webble things to fight the Hoth Imperial things, so they'll release this playset so that they have lots of sets for each side of the Battle of Hoth. The next set is the biggest set, and it's 75331, and will cost $530, and I'm predicting it'll be an Endor Bunker because they've been making Master Builder series about every other year, and they've already released a Master Builder series Hoth Echo Base and Master Builder series Cloud City, which means they still have a Master Builder series set from the Return of the Jedi they haven't made. And since they liked making original trilogy sets, I would assume this would be the one they would make for the Master Builder series set. For 75332, which will cost $30, I'm predicting they'll make a Hellfire Droid because they're probably going to release a bunch of Attack of the Clone sets in the summer, like I said earlier, and this set would be a perfect set to make. A minifigure in this set that would be good would be the Blue and Clone Trooper, which I think is like a captain, I think, the Blue Clone Trooper, because they have the Yellow Clone Trooper, which is the Clone Commander, but they still don't have a Green Clone Trooper, which is a Lieutenant, a White Clone Trooper, or a Blue Clone Trooper, which is a captain. The next set, 75333, which will cost $30. I predict will be the Republic fighter tank which will have Mace Windu and the purple clone troopers in it. Because there's no set numbers left for spring even though I put this set in the spring wave rumors I'm also putting it in the summer predictions just in case it doesn't come out then it might come out in the summer. The next set 75334 which will cost $50 I'm predicting will be Obi-Wan Starfighter from episode 2 Attack of the Clones. And if it's not that then I'm predicting it might be a Jango Fett Slave 1 but I just think it's gonna be one of those two. The next set is 75335 and will cost $100 and and I predict it'll have something to do with the Bad Batch when they were on Camino in the Bad Batch Season 1. It might be some sort of playset, or it might be a model of, of a Camino in building. The next set, 75336, will also cost $100, and I predict it'll be an ATTE from Attack of the Clones. It might have a clone lieutenant with the green markings, a couple of normal Phase 1 clones, and probably a Jedi and a few rattle droids. The next set, 75337, will cost $140, and I predict this will be a playset with public gunship. I think this will be a playset with public gunship, because with the accessory gun trooper pack that's coming out in January, I think that it would pair nicely with the $140 gunship because then it would have lots of clone troopers to go in the gunship. This would also be a prime opportunity to put an accurate clone pilot in the gunship. The 75338, which will cost $70, I predict will have something to do with the new Andor show that is coming out in 2022. The next set is the 75340, which will cost $45, and of all my predictions, this is probably my strongest, and I predict this will be the advent calendar. Since it costs $45, dollars it costs more than a normal advent calendar but i think the five dollar price bump is reasonable because of inflation the next set is a 75342 which will cost forty dollars and i think this will have something to do with the obi-wan kenobi show like maybe a obi-wan versus darth vader dual set seeing a forty dollar dual set would be weird because most dual sets are only twenty dollars but hey maybe this set will have a substantial build plus a few more minifigures like maybe some stormtroopers the last set is 75343 and will cost sixty dollars and when i made my prediction earlier with the 75334 I said it would be an Obi-Wan Starfighter or a Jango Fett Slave 1. I think the 75334 will be one of those and the 75343 will be the other one of those. Like maybe with the 75334 which costs $50 they could recolor the Boba Fett Slave 1 that came out last year to a Jango Fett Slave 1 with just different pieces on the outside and with the 75343 they could just make a completely new model of Obi-Wan Starfighter. And that is every set that I predict will be coming out in summer of 2022. Leave your set predictions down in the comment section down below and remember to like subscribe and enter my giveaway bye created by the lego dude produced by the lego dude directed by the lego dude
paid for by the Lego Dude. Edited by the Lego Dude. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave a like.